Indiana Jones, Indiana It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, Minute. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute. This is the podcast where we will probably go nuts trying to figure out where Indy teaches in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal (laughs) Skull, one minute at a time. I'm Tom Taylor. I'm Pete Mummert, and I may have a very surprising answer for that. Oh, I bet you do. (laughs) I'm Gerald Christopher Dreamsickle Porter. (laughs) And today we are joined by yet another four-timer returning guest. This is our old pal from the Locked On MLB podcast, Paul Sullivan. Welcome back, Sully. Hey. I am so happy to be back, and I love this show so much that I'm even willing to come on to talk about Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> That's the true <laughs> test of a fan. And a yeah. This fan. is it. If, when I first... I never heard of the movie by Minute Podcast when you guys first asked me on in 2016 to do the Raiders and I'm like, well, this is great, but they're clearly not going to do Crystal Skull. <laughs> you got to draw the line somewhere. Yeah. I mean, for God's sakes, I mean, Raiders is one of my 10 favorite movies of all time. 10? They... <laughs> yeah. What are the other nine? Raiders. Well, Raiders. Uh, the making of Raiders. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the, the, the stunt special they did about yeah. Raiders. The Raiders lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> the, the that that version of Raiders that those two dudes made where they oh, recreated yeah. every yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah. The version of Raiders that you made in your backyard. All the Raiders. Yeah. And TV Jaws. version. Yeah. <laughs> and Jaws. Uh well, we're glad you're back. Uh yeah. I apologize that you have to talk about Crystal Skull, but maybe it's gonna be a lot of fun. Who knows? Okay, we're on minute 25, and minute 25 begins with Penny's dad from Lost, uh, finishing his thought from last week that not everyone in the army is a commie, certainly not Indy, and it ends with Dr. Jones lecturing his students about Scara Bray. And, uh, and the tapestries. And the tapestries that you can find in Scar <laughs> Bray. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in Dr. Jones uh, as he's sitting here still talking to the uh, the feds. Uh, we were praising him, I think, just last minute for his excellent grammar. And here we get a nuclear out of him. What yeah. have I supposedly oh. done besides survive a nuclear yeah. blast? That was rough. That was a little disappointing. Although I guess <laughs> 1950s, professor. that might have been a little more. Maybe that's just a character thing. Oh, Maybe. Maybe they, like they were huddled it, over the script and they discussed that and decided to go that way. Yeah. <laughs> As a scientist, oh, though, sure. I, I would have hoped for more from Indy. Yeah. I think it's, I honestly <laughs> think it's the only flaw in the movie. Is, uh, <laughs> is that pronunciation. <laughs> I mean, this would be a perfect 10 if not for that yeah. one line reading. <laughs> Somehow this knocked the movie down like 98 points or something. How yeah. It's amazing. That's how offensive that one line reading was. Just... <laughs> yeah. This question, though, that General Ross asks, where uh, or he, he seems to make the assumption that, that maybe there are commies in the army, <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. these guys kind of lay into Indy, and and I think if you've listened to this podcast for any length of time, it's probably not a a big stretch to guess what I think about the Red Scare in the fifties. But I have to say that if the so if the Soviet Union managed to send an entire squad of soldiers, elite soldiers, into your most top secret base and steal your most precious artifact maybe they do have a problem <laughs> yeah maybe it's not indie. <laughs> like some of this might be yeah. uh, sort of deserved <laughs> like maybe these guys should well yeah <laughs> i mean I, I i will say this this is there's a lot of times there are scenes in movies where the bad guys are right mm-hmm. yeah you know and uh you know there's i can think of a couple examples like the, in this particular case here are two fbi guys who are talking to Indy, who at one point was leading them in that warehouse to the thing. Yeah. Now, whether or not he was doing <laughs> yeah. it under duress or not, yeah. he was doing it. Yeah. And and like so, oh, quick, give me some more like gunpowder and 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 where they have magic magnets so I can find the thing. Now, whether or not he got off on a a rocket ship past the prairie dogs. He did get it. He was in a vehicle Mm -hmm. with Mac after they shot up a bunch of army soldiers 
and help them find the goddamn thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I, if I were an FBI agent, say, hey, before we just <laughs> assume you're OK, um, you did do a lot of stuff that's kind of sort of suspicious. Yeah. They, oh, yeah. They're. They're not wrong. Yeah. You made a cool yeah. getaway, but couldn't you have done that before you gave the thing away to the bad guys? Or given up your life to, for your country yeah. and so the Russians don't get this yeah. thing. Well, no, yeah, sure. I mean, do you, do you know how many medals this son of a bitch won? <laughs> but uh, And you happen to, yeah, you set off, someone set off a nuclear explosion. You're hanging out there with Russians and make it out. Yeah, we want to ask some questions about that. Yeah, and sure. we're not buying this whole refrigerator thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to say, as no. soon as he says, do you have any idea how many medals this son of a bitch has won? And the sad Raiders march kind of comes in here. <laughs> and I still, I, I have a hard time. I don't know. I, I still have a hard time picturing Indy as a kind of go with the program government agent. Oh, yeah. I, I, abs absolutely. I know this is what, 20 years later or something like uh, that? 21, I, I, yeah. I, I don't that. I that doesn't really make sense. No. I don't like I'm yeah, I'm trying to imagine like so Indiana Jones is like Lee Marvin. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, one yeah, of those yeah. types of movie like that's who he is. Unless he's not like what if he's just one of the dirty dozen like he's just doing his indie business like over enemy lines and it's some I can sort of imagine like, you know, a, a, a impromptu adventure that somehow dovetails into some sort of army operations over there. And wow, India saved the day. Here's a medal. I said, All right, it'll give me Kelly's a Heroes, <laughs> you know, with uh, Clint Eastwood and Don Rickles exactly, and yeah. Kelly Savalas and Donald Sutherland. I mean, you know, I, I would much rather see that movie than this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Indy, I mean, you know, with the exception of like, I guess, Sala and I guess Wuhan, I mean, Indy's. I don't know. He's just a guy who works by himself. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine yeah. him like a colonel leading like a, a, you know, a sizable group with Mac and all these other guys. I don't know. It's very, very my, my indelibrium. So do we know that it was something like that, that he's like leading a bunch of people? I mean, they don't really get specific. It do they? sounded more like it was more like special ops. Sort yeah. Of thing. And yeah. Been, yeah. You know, and that was yeah. I mean, that was a common thing for archaeologists to do in World War Two. But I feel like a lot of the charm of Indy in the first, at least first two movies is that he was such a rogue actor. Like yeah. that's what made him such an interesting character. That'd be like Han Solo yeah. becoming a general and like actually. Yeah. Yeah. A team of, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh. Although can, can we say that his, uh... that's, oh, that is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I mean, I totally forgot about that. Is yeah. that return of the Jedi? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> But can, can we maybe think that his dad, like spending time with his dad and his dad's dying, maybe fundamentally changed him and he decided to fight for something other than himself? His dad died like a year and a half yeah, before the movie like began. Around, that's yeah. true, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, it, you know. Maybe it's a slow I'm, decline. Uh, no. Maybe it's Marcus dying. Oh, that uh, Maybe it was solid. <laughs> no, it's like, they, they make it sound like in an upcoming scene that those two died within the same calendar year. Yeah. He says oh, it's a tough year. First, Mark. I mean, we am talk about in a minute that I'm actually not scheduled to talk about. But. <laughs> maybe it was Willie dying. Maybe it was somebody dying. Maybe. Well, it was certainly short rounds death yeah. because we we never found out what happened to him. Yeah. They'd rip yeah. him off, off screen. Yeah. I, di I did think about this, though. What if. um. What if India is just preternaturally great at fighting Nazis? And yeah, so like that's the yeah, yeah, that's the only it was like, oh my god, it's Nazis. <laughs> and th and then he joined and then he did really well and he had yeah. no problem like he was able to overcome uh, you know, his 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 solo uh, you know, his sort As of lone were. wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his lone wolf, you know, character. But that yeah. might actually lend credence to his dad influencing him. Like, maybe not his dad's dying, but his dad, because his dad viewed the quest for the grail as a good versus evil thing. So maybe he was like, ah, oh, maybe dad had something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we're giving it too much credit. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's talk about something positive. Are you nuts? <laughs> I just, I love that. I know. Yeah. I yeah. am so happy that we have yeah. these G men. And we have that that ex that same sort of G men, you know, indie. It's like an interrogation scene a little bit, and we get nuts. These yeah. government guys are always mentioning nuts. He's a nuts on the subject. <laughs> are you nuts? I was yeah. expecting somebody to say, "Are you a nuts on the subject?" <laughs> You're not going out with those Just, nuts, are you? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's no nut. He no nuts. He crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nuts, Dr. Jones. <laughs> that just made hey, me happy. <laughs> I, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna say because look at I I'm not gonna get into my entire thoughts on this movie. Uh, I may get to that a little bit, but one of my big problems that I have with the opening of the film, um, Oh, there are many problems. I actually think it's the anti Raiders, anti Saving Private Ryan, where the beginning of those movies are so great that you wonder if the rest of the movie could ever catch up with it. Mm-hmm. The beginning of this movie is so horrible <laughs> that I never recovered. I mean, the, the 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 rest of it could have been Citizen Kane, and I still would have hated the film. Um, but a a big problem that I had with the with the film and the minutes you gave me sort of illustrate this a little bit is they throw so many new characters at you, whether it's, you know, Mac or this general who walks in, who's apparently Indy's lawyer or something. <laughs> I don't know. He's he, he's in the scene. He's in the movie one more scene than me. And, <laughs> and then you have the two federal agents who are giving it to Indy. But, you know, that's an interesting thing. But I hope you didn't get attached to them because they don't show up yeah. for the rest of the movie. Yeah. And then Jim Broadbent shows up like we're supposed to give a crap about him. There's like <laughs> there's so many people that they're throwing at us. Yeah. And I'm going, um, are we supposed to care about any? Am I supposed to know who any of these people are? <laughs> and it's not even like we need tons of backstory. I mean, there was a, you know, Marcus Brody didn't have tons of backstory when he showed up no. or, or, or Sala. I mean, they just, they set up the relationship rather quickly, but those characters paid off. Yeah. And there were so many characters at you at the beginning of this film. And with the exception of, uh, I don't even know the names of the characters, which is a problem. Don't worry about it. Uh, but the <laughs> yeah. Kate Blanchett character um, and and the and Mac mm-hmm. are the only two that have any sort of payoff. And this is even before they throw John Hurt and Shia LaBeouf and at us. It's sort of like there's there's just character overload in this film. That's a good when point. all we want to do was see one. And there's like, okay, my, is uh, is Indy going to be friends with this general who's his lawyer? Nope, nope, nope. It's like, <laughs> nope, not, not important. <laughs> not important. The feds, is this going to be? A, nope, nope, not yeah. important. Move on. Yeah, Nothing the feds, I mean, here. I know there's like an immediate effect of this whole uh, FBI interest in Indy like in a few minutes. But mm-hmm. like beyond that, there's like, that really doesn't go anywhere, does yeah. it, in the rest of the movie? No. No, no and I thought it was an interesting thing because it could have shown... Indy being a lone wolf, is he with the uh, the Soviets? Yeah. Is he with the Feds? Yeah. No, yeah. he's his own dude. He's stuck with the bureaucratic and, fools again. Yeah, buttonheads. Yeah, yeah. And, but that doesn't that doesn't pay off at all in this no. film. Yeah, but there is a line they they cut here that I'm glad they cut Ooh. that it made it even oh, more so like that. There was something. There was something stupider yeah. that ended up on the cutting room floor <laughs> than what was in the film. Yeah, because in this I one they say, "Possible, Doctor Jones." Let's just say for now that you are of interest to the bureau. And then Indy says, look, you got any doubts about me? Talk to Congressman Freeling or Abe Portman in Army Intel. Hell, ask anybody. I've got a lot of friends in Washington. And then Taylor, mm. Agent Taylor says, I think, Professor, you'll find you might be wrong about that. Meh. Yeah, I don't want him to have friends in Washington. That sounds like uh that sounds like a com like a a, a comic book. It does. Something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It does. It sounds like know. something you'd read in the, like it'd be a tossed off thing in the comic, like mm-hmm. literally the comic book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, these guys don't actually get Indiana Jones that well. <laughs> it's too bad. They shouldn't <laughs> toss in stuff like that if they're not going to get it. Um, but it's an actual Indiana Jones film directed by Steven Spielberg. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah. This is not a this is not a fanfic. No, <laughs> right. No, this no, is no. Uh, it shouldn't be. Anyway. This is. Well, the the like, uh, the grown ups made this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the federal agents bring up something, you know, they, they question, uh, you know, although, you know, I'm, they're, they're sure Indy got a lot of medals, but were they deserved? Which no. then, of course, yes. <laughs> I thought to myself, has Indy ever gotten something he didn't deserve? <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many medals this guy has stolen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought to myself, you know, he probably deserved yellow fever. 
Yeah. <laughs> he probably the deserves clap. yeah, Shaga's <laughs> disease. Yeah. <laughs> Gonorrhea. The salt the Sultan of Madagascar wanted to thought he didn't deserve to have his manhood attached. Yeah, the to fact him. that he saw his manhood, true. that's a medal right there. Yeah, that's yeah. a <laughs> it's a bonus. It still works, so yeah. that's a medal. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Uh and then uh and we head back to uh, Marshall College. We go Do back we? to California. Do we? I don't know. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> and th- this isn't, I mean, this is probably one of the more important moments in this movie, I- if you follow along with our podcast. Yeah. Um, because I'm already we, we, exhausted. We, we, I know, I'm, I'm exhausted. Exhausted. We're We're mud yeah. wrestling yeah. Every, about 18 minutes into the movie, <laughs> every movie, <laughs> whatever it is, it's about 15, 18, 25 minutes in where all we come here. And it kind of ambushed me. I'm watching the movie. I'm like, oh, he's got the Oka. Oh, my God. Yeah. Here, are we doing this again? And what's fascinating is I have no idea where they are what's going on or what I'm supposed to think. Or if I see like at this point, I'm just going to call it what it is. It's Pete. It's Pacific university, right? <laughs> well, that's what it is, right? Is, is that the same shot? It is the that's, same establishing shot. I have kind that's of an rare. olive branch for, for Tom here. Oh, oh, um, I'm going to concede Took that in, four movies to do it in this movie, <laughs> in this movie, this, that Marshall college is in Connecticut. Oh, see, maybe they, yeah, Wait, what? yeah. Oh, so, okay, so, so, that, so now there's a there's a satellite branch. Well, yeah, see, it's like, no, it's like University College? of Phoenix. We're in we're in a yeah. movie where where uh, it's all about different dimensions, and I think our refrigerator <laughs> incident sent Indy into a a slightly oh. different one because we remember in all the other movies we get some <laughs> weird things that show that it's not our own universe, like the Nazis controlling Egypt or the Zeppelins still flying in 1938. Oh, so I'm oh yeah. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. Indy blasted into a slightly different parallel universe in this one where Marcus is kind of a normal guy again and Marshall is in Connecticut. And as a native of Connecticut, I like to think that a nuclear blast would blast you right into Can- my native state. <laughs> yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I hope and I hope you know I hope you note that I said nuclear in on intention. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So okay, I yeah, let, let's, a, let's get in a, the mud pit. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, Pete still seems to have his wacky thing that Marshall was at some point in, in no, California. No, it was. And that's that was good, clean was. fun. Yeah. We Pete, all Pete, like to. And, 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 I, and, I, and I agree. Pete. I agree. <laughs> all right. You're Thank all insane. You, but uh, I think what what I. Re- OK, so I looked it up. And yes, like officially, like if you look on the Indiana Jones wiki, which I consider cheating, if it's not in the movie and you can't figure it out from the movie, mm-hmm. it doesn't count. But yep. yeah, they're calling this Marshall College. This is the same establishing shot from Raiders. Uh, they, but they, you know, they, there's some big differences. There are some huge differences. But okay, yeah. but I can live with that. So okay, according to like official <laughs> lore or whatever, mm-hmm. he was at Marshall. He left Marshall at some point between uh, you know before uh, Last Crusade. Oh, and when we get to Last Crusade, Jesus. he's at Barnett for some reason, yeah. which has an identical yeah. replica of his classroom in the adjoining yeah. hallway yeah. from yeah. Marshall for some reason. Now he's back at Marshall, and I guess he's in a different wing or something because it doesn't look anything like that same classroom. I can live with that, too. But I, can we all agree with our pet little theories and everything else and whatever and understanding that sometimes you film something that doesn't take place where it's actually supposed to and stuff? Can we just agree <laughs> that Last Crusade messed it up? Last Crusade, there's yes. no reason yeah. for them to like tack on a Barnett College yeah. for some reason. No, yeah. no, that had that nothing to silly. do with anything. That was yeah. a huge, weird left turn. Yeah. And it made, yeah, it made it, it made it made no sense. It added nothing. Yeah. Although they never mention that it is Marshall College in, in in Raiders, do they? Is that just a, uh, the oh well? Uh, well, it says it's Marshall. Lobot. Yeah, it's Lobot. Yeah, it's yeah. Lobot. it is Lobot. It is Lobot. I think it is, but I don't know where Lobot came from. I don't like there wasn't an action figure that said Marshall College. Yeah, yeah, but there I don't was know where, something. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's in the well. So doesn't it say Marshall College over the over the? No, I don't think so. No, it says so. Barnett College so, in the second one, but no, I know in the third one. So yeah. wait a minute, is this classroom different than Indy's classroom from Raiders of the Lost Dark? Yeah, I think the classroom is similar, but the hallway outside is, is completely different. Is completely different. It's a different location. It's a different got. It's a different architecture. Everything's different. Yeah, yeah. all that's different. Yeah, but the classroom. 
Okay, so even if the classroom is different, if I'm watching this movie like a, a like a regular dude, mm-hmm. I recognize <laughs> that as no, I'm not. That's true. Uh, that looks like Indiana Jones's classroom. Yeah, I agree. They're copying the shot. They try to do the shot yeah, they're again. They're copying like, you know, Marcus every, and approaching, the angle. Walks through the door. The a- yeah. Yes, the angle of the classroom is the same. And it's even got the uh, the ha- the Halloween skeleton. Yes, it does. <laughs> I was gonna say, as you see right now, it's yeah. second fifty six, so it's yeah. it's clearly the fall semester. Yep. Or yeah. I think you'll like this, Pete. I do have an uh, 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 another theory on that. I think that might be Forest All. <laughs> he <went> back <laughs> <and got him> back. <laughs> I just can't leave him there. Yeah, and he's just I think like and what if that's just how Indy deals with his competitors? <laughs> yeah, hangs him up. He's in just like <laughs> Yeah, and that's why, you know, like Forrestal, you know, yeah, I mean like twenty years ago he had all his he was a carcass with meat on him. And <laughs> yeah. and like Indy brought him back. He he brought him back and he hung him up in the back. And that's just Forrestal hanging well, out that's... in the back. That's why he's in a different wing now because Forrestal was so gamey originally for like months and months that it just stunk up the whole joint. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually prove that it's Forrestal. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Because if you'll notice on the on this on the blackboard, he's got pictures of his Sankara stones, and there's no earthly oh, really? reason what? that he would have. Is that what of it his, is? Yeah, and there's no earthly reason you would have a class where you would discuss those with like an archaeology survey. And I think yeah. if you look. Uh, we'll see in the next minute too that he t- he's got everything that's on the blackboard and everything is some kind of artifact that he's stolen or looted. Like I think he just talks <laughs> about things that he's stolen. He j- <laughs> so I think that that so that I think that is Forrestal back there. Wow, that make yeah, and it, like so basically he he looted Forrestal and stole Forrestal. Yeah, I mean I don't even know if he's a real professor. <laughs> and, he just tells stories about his yeah. adventures. <laughs> Does he have Panama Hats hat somewhere that he picked oh, up probably. when he floated past? <laughs> yeah, him? I'm sure he does. Yeah. So what? You know, one of the things I was wondering what what is the we talked about this in our first season. What is the name of this archaeology class that Indy's teaching? <laughs> because because we have we have Turk Dean Barrow and Scott Bray, and I'm like that sounds like it's a cl- like these are it's like ruins named after fifth grade bullies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna yeah do a Scott, Scott Fargus, Bray. Uh, yeah. Semester, yeah, Scott Farkas. <laughs> <laughs> like, like an underground cistern. <laughs> Scar Bray's Turk interesting Dean though. Barrow. It's it's it's, uh, it's super old. They say it's the most complete Neolithic village in Europe, and it dates back to like three thousand BCE. But I think that's what he says. Thirty two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. And the cool thing is he talks about the drainage and they said in Scarbray, each house had its own internal toilet. Oh, wow. That's. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Unlike unlike most rentals in San Francisco. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's why you have me on the show. (laughs) Um, There is a uh, interesting thing to point out. Hmm. Uh, I don't think this is true in Raiders. Uh, but in this classroom, there are at least two black students. Yeah. And I, I think I the entire yeah. class was solidly lily white uh, back in uh, the original Marshall days. Which might make yeah. sense. Yeah. The last crusade days. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's also there, there are there are more men in the classroom as well. Right. Yeah. And no oh, one's fawning over Indy as a sex symbol. Yeah. He's right. Now just an old professor. 80 years old. Yeah. 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 Which is it? Which is a very uh, that's a specific choice, which is which is uh, which is which is interesting. I'm mm-hmm. not I'm not saying it's wrong. I am not saying well, that's that's I'm, wrong. But I'm glad that I'm glad that they didn't. I think it would yeah. be really disturbing to be kind of like, you know, that that's a little bit of oh man, really? Yeah, really? yeah, we're going, we're yeah, still yeah, going yeah, to play yeah, this yeah. card, you know? Yeah, and and then he's you know we 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 mentioned and I was on the. Um, you seem to have me in the classroom sections a lot, and <laughs> when I because I yeah. I did the last crusade classroom scene, and we we spotted out that he was checking out the Amy Irving lookalike. Oh uh, my god, that's right. Which I think was kind of a a, a, a subtle uh, nod to Spielberg's ex wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but in this one, he's uh you know. He's not. He's not interested. See, in I think any, no one's in interested in him because he's wearing that silly, ridiculous bow tie. <laughs> you don't like a bow tie. He had a bow no, tie last I, time, I, didn't he? 
Didn't he have a bow tie? Uh, yeah, but he was. But he was also Harrison Ford in the eighties. Oh, yeah. he sure then. was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah now he could have. He could have had a clown costume yeah. on. He would be fine. <laughs> you do see the tie a lot more now that he's. That yeah. He's elderly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get letters. So from I, I'm gonna. Listeners. I'm gonna ask the question. <laughs> um, how many times? I'm sorry if I'm if I'm breaking off here a little bit, but how many times did you all see this movie? before breaking it down minute by minute i once. saw it once in the theater when yeah. it came out yeah. yeah and yeah. then like once when i had to go yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean isn't that amazing that i was the same thing i saw it opening weekend with my wife we went to a theater in redwood city to see this movie and and my, you can Wilhelm scream this out, but my expectations were lower than. <laughs> and <laughs> now we leave it in <laughs> because I mean, we are, it was only three years after the prequels were done. Yeah. And I'm like, I said, all I want is one good action scene, one moment of intense nostalgia with Marion and one kind of cool supernatural reveal. And that's it. That's mm -hmm. all I want those three things. And w I didn't see it opening night, but I saw it early enough before like the critical consensus came in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this was like the, when I saw the Paramount logo dissolve into the CGI Prairie dog <laughs> Hill, it took every bit of willpower not to turn to my wife and say, let's go. I've been through too much. <laughs> uh, they, like, they, there's no way it can get, that they'll recover from this. And if I had seen it alone, I would have, I just would have said, I'm, I, 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 I've seen all I need to see. You don't, it's like when they, yeah. they call Indiana for the Republican after 1% of the vote has come in. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, we know. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, right. And, and I just, I hated the beginning of this film so much that the rest of the film just never recovered. It couldn't, it didn't matter what happened. And, and it was so funny that there's an Indiana Jones film that for 11 years, it never occurred to me to watch again. To it is it really weird. Shot. Like like I just said, like I, I was asking about the FBI guys and stuff. Does that play out later on? I'm like, I honestly don't know. I don't remember the movie. An Indiana yeah. Jones movie. I don't know well yeah. enough yeah. to know if these FBI guys show up later. Yeah. I mean, Raiders, we all... We all memorized Raiders because it was for many people the first film they had on VHS. Yeah, uh -huh. and and Temple of Doom, for all of its flaws, was definitely a rewatchable film. And Last Crusade was a re. It's like it never occurred to me until Pete said, <laughs> "Hey, do you want to be on the show?" I said, "Yeah, I guess I have to watch that <laughs> again." <laughs> and, and 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 dutifully, I did. I I I watched it from beginning to end beforehand because I wanted to see if it was better than I remembered. And uh, I will say that I didn't, I, I was so angry when I saw it the first time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so now that I knew that the first 20 minutes was going to be just junk, uh, the, <laughs> the thing is I felt the rest of it was just dull. Mm -hmm. Like what scene, if you're flipping around and this film's on TV, what film's going to make you stop flip around? Oh, I want to see this scene. Mm-hmm. None. Yeah, yeah. Zero. I can think That's of maybe Jerry, one. I know. But I'll save uh, it. What with the, with the credits rolling? What? I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're free to go. Well, I've I've got something yeah. here that I want I want to play a little game with you guys. Uh oh. So okay. Sully, you've been talking about critical consensus hadn't gelled yet when you when you came out of the theater. Yeah. But based on Rotten Tomatoes uh, count Ooh. of critics, we have uh, 270 critical reviews. Uh, yeah. By newspaper critics, what do you think the rating is? Yeah. Uh, probably higher than it should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is above twenty. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm going to say I'm just going to say uh, seventy percent positive. I'm going to say yes. Wow, sixty. We'll do this Price is Right style. Yeah, yeah. Price is Right style. Sixty-five percent positive, which I agree is ridiculous. I will say 76. You, you almost got it, Tom. It's 78. Oh, nice. I didn't go over. I win. Nope. You win. A new car. Wait, what? Who? <laughs> <laughs> See, I actually kind of. I, I, I mean. A, a new fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. 
And I, you guys are probably all going to come after me, but I actually enjoy the movie. I don't think it's a great movie, but I think if it didn't have, if it weren't an Indiana Jones movie, I think this would be, hey, that's an okay movie. I'm kind of with you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to come after you. Yeah. It's a, yeah I'll come <laughs> okay. after, uh, Pete and I, uh, Pete, Jerry and I are coming I know, after you. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it is so dull. <laughs> but you know what you, I mean, you, you mentioned the, you mentioned the, the prequels. And that's really interesting because in 2008, when this came, it was 2008, right? We'll edit that out. Yeah. 2008. Yeah. Uh, I do remember sitting there like, yeah, you see the, the the prairie dog hill and stuff. And you're like, oh, this is this is what we get now. This is, I, I'm black and blue from the prequels. Mm. This has been a really tough yeah. decade for Lucasfilm productions, <laughs> you know, and my re- response to them. And uh, this is what we, I, I would, I don't know why I was expecting anything else. This is what we get. We get, we get this. I know why I was expecting something else. I know exactly why I was expecting something else. And this is why I actually hated Crystal Skull more than I hated the prequels. Wow. And really? The, and, and I'll know, I'll tell you exactly why. Because the autopsy of the prequels was very easy. George Lucas was paying for it. No one could say no to him. Mm-hmm. He knew he had the theaters. Yeah. And so what the, it said, written by George Lucas, written by, he had like, he had like one guy, like co-write one of them. It was one of the writers on, on the young Indiana Jones Chronicles. So, you know, he had a lot of pull <laughs> and uh, a lot of pushback. And he was surrounded by, you know, Rick McCollum, making sure that no one said anything critical to George about anything. Mm-hmm. And these films were vomited onto the screen and they felt like first drafts. And he had wonderful actors against a green screen going, I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, 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 I'm just going to stand here and talk to a ping pong ball. And so it was his, he was, it was just un, unchecked uh, control for him. And that's what we got. This one, Steven Spielberg was the director. Mm-hmm. You had Jeff, you know, the guy who wrote Catch Me If You Can and the guy who wrote Jurassic Park write the screenplay. You had people who, you had supposedly people who were not just shooting a film in a green screen to a ping pong ball. So it didn't have the excuse that the prequels had, which was, well, no one can say no to George. Steven Spielberg can. Yeah, I was under right. the impression. He was just a couple of, he was a few years removed from Munich. Yeah. And this is yeah. what we got. But I feel like a lot of the weird decisions of this movie are compromises between Spielberg yes. and Lucas. I, I think yeah. that's what I we think discovered. I think they were all black and yeah. blue from this yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. And all the compromises. But what, what, okay, what, let's uh, do it this way. The reason I was expecting a lot more from the film was uh, a. It's been a lot, you know. It had been whatever it is, twenty years since we've we've seen an Indiana Jones movie. And b. From what I remember, like they said, it's not that we didn't want to make another Indiana Jones movie. Is that we are waiting until the right screenplay and story came around and felt good. Mm-hmm. And we're still waiting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the thing I didn't understand. It was that they're sort of like, no, we talked about it, but we didn't have the right, you know, the <laughs> like the right vibe. Like what, yeah. you know what? And then, and then, like I think Harrison on Ford was really excited, and he was really into it. And you're just like, I don't get this. I, you know, I was getting my hair cut today, and the woman asked me. She said, "Oh, hey, so what's what's up with your podcast? Well, how's that?" And I said, "Well, you know, it's cool. We're doing this thing." And she goes, "What movie are you on?" And I said. We're doing uh, Indiana Jones, you know, Crystal Skull. And she goes, oh, yeah. She's like, what was that one again? And she and, and she's like, yeah. <laughs> and this is where I, I agree with you, Sully. Even though as we go through this minute by minute, I think there are little, you know, nuggets of gold in each little minute here and there. You can kind of pan and come up with a couple of flakes. But. I, when I went to describe the movie and explain it to <laughs> to the woman cutting my hair, I couldn't really do it. I That's said, a problem. Yeah, "Yeah, it was." I was like, "Oh no, he's like back and he's well." There's like a Russian thing, and it winds up with I. <laughs> like, there's an there's a a, kingdom a, and a yeah, it's like there's aliens. I don't know, and Marlon like I Brando's there was nothing. It. I couldn't explain the movie to her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. That is a problem. <laughs> but it's our problem. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Forever. Just yes. like Jerry. I bet if we it, I bet if we did Superman <laughs> 4 minute by minute you could pick out a nice scene or two as well. Um sure. I, I just think that I think that there was no excuse for this film being as bad as it was, which makes it so frustrating. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I in a way the prequels are a fascinating 
document of what happens when you have too much creative control. But this yeah. is this is just staggering to me. Mm-hmm. And 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 rewatching it, the, its biggest crime is how boring it is. Yeah, it's just I. I mean, the, I'm I'm gonna get. I have a point that I'm gonna make in a later minute. I don't want to bog it down too much here, but. I mean, rewatching it, like there wasn't one action scene that had a moment that was, you know, uh, that was even as I, I thought there was I, I never was a big fan of some of the action scenes in Last Crusade. Other than the tank scene, I thought like the the motorcycle scene and the boat scene, I thought felt a little tacked on like, well, we got to have an action scene here. But. My God, that was the truck chase. Hell, that was the that was Mad Max Fury Road <laughs> compared to the motorcycle through New Haven and the big sort of tractor CGI thing in South America. I mean, there's just there's you have an Indiana Jones film where there's no action set pieces that are memorable. I mean, there's nothing that's even as as fun as chopping the gong and running alongside the gong as the, <laughs> the guy's firing the Tommy gun and jumping out through the window. Yeah. Give me one thing like that. No, nothing. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry. And the fact that I don't, and the fact that I can say that and you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. 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 Meanwhile, yeah. Jerry can't even describe the basic plot to his barber. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, and, and you know what? Let's, let's, you know, we're kicking the movie. But uh, yes. yeah, we you know we knew that this was going to happen. We knew that <laughs> we did. We you know I I you know it's uh, for the you know we we have other moments where we're more positive, but uh, you know yep. we, we did this this is not a surprise. It's also that, fun when a Sully comes on and just rips it to shreds. Mm-hmm. If we can go, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. yep. We're trying to be nice, but yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna, yeah. I, I'm I'm going to take I'm going to disagree a little bit. I, I actually. I don't think any of these action sequences are really memorable, but I think some of them are fun. Like I think the motorcycle one is a lot more fun than I remembered it being when I watched it in the movie. I actually like that too. I was just going along with Sully because he's a guest. Don't be rude, Pete. Stop. I just think, but, but Sully has the best point. If I'm flipping through, you know, TV, if I uh-huh. owned one and, and I see like two minutes before the map room scene, right? Not yeah. even an You're action in. scene, mm-hmm. the map room, which is indie yeah. by himself. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to stop what I'm doing and I'm going to watch. Yeah. You know, just to just just the map room scene, which which is which yeah. is very low on the action totem pole for Raiders of the Lost Ark. But it's mm-hmm. but it's cool. a great scene. Yep. Yeah. It's off the charts music wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I don't I don't know if if I you know was was flipping the channels and I saw this <laughs> and it came on. I don't think I would recognize it as an Indiana <laughs> Jones movie. I think I'd be like, "Oh, weird! I want Harrison Ford's in something. I wonder what this is." Is this fire? Is this Firewall? What is this movie? Yeah, Fugitive <laughs> Three. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, th- you would think about even just sort of not just Raiders. I mean, just think, think about you're flipping around. And it's the scene where the spikes are coming down from the roof in Temple of Doom, mm-hmm. or it's the penitent man who shall pass scene from Last Crusade. So you're, you're putting the remote down. You're going to watch that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's not asking too much to give us a scene like that. I, I'll go and you know what? I'll say something. There are a couple of scenes that if I'm flipping around from the prequels, I'll watch. Sure. I'll watch. <laughs> yeah, but not that they're great, but you're like, oh, this is kind of a cool scene. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm with you. I can't think of one right now, but I know that's happened to me. <laughs> ah, the Darth Maul lightsaber duel. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. P- parts of that are actually very cool. Sure, he gets cut in half, but yeah. then he shows up in later movies and TV shows, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't say that. I Dr. didn't say Tom anything explained made sense. That, that, makes, that, that it's entirely anatomically possible. Eh, don't tell my son that. We argue about that all the time. Well, all right. Listen, everybody. We got more of this uh, Crystal Skull business to talk about. Well, speaking uh, of next showing time. up. Oh, no. We're showing up? Speaking what? of showing showing back up, <laughs> this just in from Professor Christy oh. Porter. Oh, my goodness. I forgot how the show <laughs> 
Why do the top <laughs> men give away their position and suspicions to Indy and his friend? Because it's their only scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually a very good question. It is. A you know, Dr. Jones, line. we're following out of you. We're fo- following yeah. you out of this building and we're yeah. going to have a, <laughs> yeah. we're going to have a, you know. Yeah. They don't even do like good cop, bad cop or anything. Yeah. No. I'll leave him alone. George, he's a war hero. Well, uh, come on. Indiana Jones, he's great. We're following you don't on the way home it, and Jones. there's a bug in your closet and you shouldn't be talking about stuff in your car. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. Like if he is an agent, like all they've done is tipped him off that hey, we're yeah, watching you. They just tipped yeah. him mm-hmm. off. Yeah. yeah. Good point, Professor Christy Porter. She makes some That was pretty, pretty good, good. Point once in a while. Yeah. 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 She be on <laughs> Every show. once in a while she makes some sense. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Let's keep it up. Uh speaking of making sense, Sully, you make sense. That's why we had you oh. here. Uh can you come back next time, please? And, and help us. I with, would, uh... You know what? I obviously love this film so much. I can't wait to talk about <laughs> we it. We can't some more. keep you out of here with a stick. Uh, but before we yeah. go, uh, we mentioned uh, Locked On MLB, your uh, baseball yep. podcast, uh, and you got other stuff yep. going on too, right? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to be. I, I'm also producing the the Real Crime podcast, Real Crime Profile, and I am going to be doing. I'm going to continue doing baseball podcasting through the off season. I don't know when the heck this is dropping. But uh, we. probably after the gi- this this what? will this will be well into the off season, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. So this after the Giants win the World Series, <laughs> um, you heard it here last, and and somewhere here, and short round is happy because he was a big Giants fan. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Sully. But I'm going to continue doing baseball podcasting even the off season, where I'm going to be doing stuff about uh, I'm doing all 30 uniforms. Uh, breaking down with fans of each team about nice. what I think they should do with each uniform. Oh, cool! And uh, I, I, I know Jerry is from from Cleveland. I've had some resistance from people who like the the Chief Wahoo hat, even though it's intensely racist and terrible. And as I'd like to point out to them, it's not exactly been a good luck charm. <laughs> <as> a <hat. laughs> That's a good Something point. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said the. The only two World Series the Cleveland Indians have ever won were years they didn't have that hat. That's and true. And since the advent of the wild card, only two teams have lost Game 7 of the World Series in extra innings. <laughs> the 1997 Indians and the 2016 Indians wearing the Chief Wahoo hat. So you would think that the... F- People who would be wanting to burn that hat the most the <laughs> Cleveland Indian fans because every horrible loss in franchise history has been wearing that hat. Oh, well, that's a good it's 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 like the uh what is it, the 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 tiki medallion and the Brady Bunch. You know, and Greg <laughs> yeah. Greg goes surfing. Yeah. It's really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just bad it's it's bad luck. Yeah. Oliver. Yeah. They'd be better off with Vincent Price's image on there from the Hawaii <laughs> song. Oh my god. <laughs> um oh, I went uh, there you go. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I'm doing. Now that we got into Vincent Price, we know it's time to shut this one down. Uh that was minute twenty-five. Everyone, thank you very much. Please come back Wednesday for minute twenty-six of Indiana Ooh. Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull here on the Indiana Jones Minute. Minoans! Mm-hmm. Nuts! <laughs> <laughs> where, where did the Minoans, where did the Minoans ar- come it's from? It's an archaeology class! <laughs> oh my god, that's the only Is thing it? that slightly rhymes with Jones? <laughs> Minoans! <laughs> <laughs>